What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. Since I'm on screen five again here today. First and foremost, I want to give a shout out to Creepy Duck Art over on Twitter. They went ahead and made an official Dolby poster and released it today for the fourth day of the 12 days of Christmas from Ghostface and Scream leading up to whatever it is we're going to get on the 12th day. Just more marketing for the new film coming up. They went ahead and put out this official duck or not duck, but Dolby cinema poster that was inspired by the work from the creepy duck art and what i think is so amazing about this is how again they are showing they are showing appreciation for what fans have already put out there with the fan posters and turning them into their own little things putting spins on it to make it officially uh promotable for the upcoming entry so as far as like what we want to talk about regarding sam carpenter sam carpenter and what this movie has to do with her as you see in the thumbnail, there's some type of secret that's going on with her. We know that. And it seems like this is going to be the new Marine angle that they're going to have a part of this fifth entry, which is something I felt like was missing from the second and fourth entry. What was missing from Scream 2 and Scream 4 was this subplot being dangled over Sydney's head. Something that was something that was so emotionally devastating for her and also being used against her so we can see this vu more vulnerable broken down side trying to break her psyche make her make her doubt herself make her go into these these deep dark thoughts sections of her head just trying to unlock and tap into that trauma just to see her suffer that what was that's what was missing from screen two and screen four the subplot of marine prescott and what i mean it was missing of course, Mrs. Loomis, Mrs. Loomis motivations were related to Marine Prescott, but she wasn't dangling any like mis missing details about what happened to Marine or anything like that. We got that again with Scream 3 In Scream. We had that dangled over our head also because we were being told that the person who killed Marine had been found and convicted only to find out that there was a question being raised while we're watching it. Did Sydney actually convict the wrong man? And what is going on with Marine Prescott? Is there another truth out there? Which we ultimately end up getting because the creeper seems to hold the keys to that truth. And it gets unlocked at the end during the final act of that original film. And then we get even more answers with more when more doors are unlocked about Sydney Prescott at the or about Marine Prescott rather at the end of Scream 3. So with Scream 2 and Scream 4, you don't really have that. So it's Sam Carpenter's story whatever her secret is we know that there's a featurette or some type of footage out there where Ghostface calls her and says they know her little secret what that may be I've already I've seen you guys talk about it I've shared numerous like images with some of you uh, I know the last video I did about Billy Loomis showed you proof of him being involved it seems more and more likely that it has to do with some type of connection between her and Billy Loomis if you look at the featurette, she actually does have a shot of her in the hospital and in the trailer, I guess, where she's running. Her outfit is mirroring the image Billy had when he gets stabbed upstairs by Stu after him and Sydney have sex. So her her secret has to do with Billy from all the stuff that's pointed being pointed out in the homages that we can see in the featurette and just going off of how they already had one character, Mindy Meeks, wearing similar clothing to a relative of theirs, Randy, when she's going to be in the Stu's living room. She has on similar cutter pattern of what her uncle had in the original film. Sam's secret seems like it's just going to be playing a factor where the killer knows it is going to use it against her. And it's, of course, going to tie into the final reveal that we get in screen five. That's something that again was missing in screen two and screen four, where the killer knows something traumatic about the protagonist and is using it to constantly just dangle it over their head, make them doubt themselves, make them just go into these deep, dark places in their head of trauma that they're trying to get over, just trying to cause them emotional heartbreak all over again over the event that they are already still struggling to cope with and of course now they're also teasing that they might have some other details to share with them as it relates to that relation or whatever secret it is that they know that they're keeping a secret while sam wants to keep it a secret as well something is going on where they're just waiting of course to reveal it at the very final stage because it ties into their interest in most likely wanting to frame sam for the crimes that they've done all throughout Woodsboro in this upcoming entry. So I, I like that, that that they are going back to that. It's what I what I think is so good about that is it allows you the audience it, it, it creates more intrigue in this killer and their motivations. 
you know her secret we don't and then other general audience people who are not trying to play detective with this movie they're going to get that similar sensation that you will get when you watch the original film you're going to be asking all these questions like you had like how you asked did sydney really convict the wrong man is there is the killer that killed her mother still out there is this actually the new person that's going on these killing sprees right now which of course we got the answer so that the end and it was a yes with sam it's going to be what does the what does the new killer know that she also knows that we're not going to find out about until i would i would say the end of the movie and when i say we're not going to find out i mean just a, a different aspect of it because the whole whatever her secret is the way the killer talks over the phone it gives the indication that they're going to find this out very early on very early on in the film we're not going to have to wait to find out what sam's secret what sam's secret is but sam's secret us knowing it so early on it can be used like how we knew sydney's mom died a year earlier us knowing the secret so early on will give us a way to tap into sam's trauma see why she's struggling why she left town help us become more attached to her the same way we got a chance to grow attached to city because of a hardship that she endured a year prior to the events of what were happening in the original film we can see how the killer will try to use that secret to maybe make people around sam doubt her make them think that she's the one committing the crimes depending on what the secret is it's just all these different type of aspects and different intriguing elements that were again missing from screen two and screen four where the killer is dangling something over the protagonist's head that they know that they both know is a is a source of trauma for them and they're just using it against them to just make the make the killings going on that much more dreadful and heart-wrenching for them speaking of heart-wrenching courtney cox actually had a comment in the new featurette that came out where she said this is a heart this is everything's more i guess weighted and it's heart-wrenching further i guess backing up and convincing those of us who think dewey's gonna die that we we indeed will be seeing our goodbyes to deputy dewey riley in this upcoming film it's been a good ride uh, i'm sure the scene will break a lot of people's hearts still but if they don't do it though i, I will be shocked but it seems more and more likely that they're gonna do that but let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews that i'm going to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video